Hi there, my name is Anna and welcome back to my art channel. In today's video we're going to be doing another little winter watercolor painting and today's subject is a little snow fox, at least I think it's a snow fox. Reference photo for this I got from Pixabay and if I remember to do so I will link it below the video so you can try painting the very same little fox. <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm starting off with sketching out my little fox and um, I kind of had difficulties with this this time around. I've become fairly accustomed to drawing and painting animals and usually I can sketch most of them fairly quickly, but um, yeah, sometimes I have difficulties still and I think the problem was that I found it hard to, to see the outlines or to see lines in general because this little guy was so furry. So what I did was um, I copied it into Procreate and um, outlined the fox there and um, then basically deleted the drawing at the, the photo itself so I just had the lines and that kind of helped me to see what I needed to sketch and then I sketched it. <laughs> you could also use a um, use um, what's it called a grade method to um, to help you draw something like this or I guess you could trace it as well if you're practicing anyway I've uh, used a little micro pen to uh, do my outlines and now I'm using a kneadable eraser to erase my pencil lines and um, there I'm starting on the background I'm using a silver black velvet watercolor brush this one has a medium size um, I chose this because I thought I could use this for the entire painting because you can get fine detail but also cover a relatively large space with it. Um, I am now kind of just dropping in some color. I'm using some ultramarine blue, some burnt sienna for a kind of a bit of a grayish color and I've also added in some purple for some purple from my Russian paint set. And um, yeah, blocked in the background and I'm adding some shadow to the foreground as well. Some little patches of dark in the snow. And as the paper dries slowly, I'm adding more and more paint to it. use quite a bit of purple in this. The only problem with purple colors is they can be kind of fugitive and um, not terribly light fast and I'm not sure how it is in this paint set. I don't have my original data anymore. <laughs> the set's very old. You can't see it on camera. I just use the purple out of that set for this. So I guess I won't be selling this original <laughs> if anybody was wanting to buy it but I might make prints maybe. like I've had loads of sales. I've sold a couple of paintings to people that actually know me. <laughs> but I do have an Etsy shop if anybody's ever interested. Paper is dried somewhat now and I'm just adding some more shade to the shade. <laughs> Some more darker color to give the snow a bit more definition. And now I've switched over to my water brush actually. And uh, this is usually something I will only use on my sketchbook when I'm kind of painting on the couch and I'm too lazy to have a cup of water with me or when I'm out and about. Um, it doesn't really serve perfectly for very fine detail normally speaking but for some reason I found it very helpful for this painting. Um, yeah, the good thing is you have your water tank in the brush so you don't have to keep going back into the water and um, you can keep going and if you don't dab it back into your paint, your paint will always get thinner and lighter. 
and um, I don't know I just for some reason this worked for me in this case and um, it was useful to get some of the textures of the fur because it doesn't have such a fine tip I could kind of apply paint more smoothly in some areas and kind of I can't quite explain it, it was better for, for blending for some reason especially for the area around the nose and the forehead which has very short hair and um, you wouldn't be seeing any individual strands actually this paintbrush is very versatile really Adding in some fur on the tail now. I'm using some burnt sienna and um, dulling it down with a bit of ultramarine blue and I'm also using a lot of purple in the fur of the fox because he's actually white and um, all that you can see are mostly reflections of his surrounding which of course is very purple in this case and um, yeah maybe a little bit of um, of brown fur as well in between or maybe just a bit of dirt <laughs> that's the the problem with painting a white animal on snow it is a bit of a challenge so I was a bit scared of painting this but actually because it's dark the background is fairly dark as well and um, has a lot of purple in it even in the reference and what you can paint are the shadows on the fur and of course like I said the reflections of the surrounding drawing in his little slanty dark eyes and adding some some more fur on his body he has very long strands so I'm kind of symbolizing this with the brush not painting in every hair of course I'm trying to preserve a lot of white because of course it is a white animal reason why I like using the water brush for this is because I'm using very light washes really to paint in the fur and it's easier with a water brush because you have a lot of water there anyway and I'm just picking up a tiny amount of paint really shade around the head I believe I used for the brownish areas of the fox or brownish bay, but I also used a little bit of yellow, yellow ochre and like I said ultramarine blue to do a little little. I must say I kind of struggled with this painting at the beginning but as it progressed I started loving this little fox and the way he was turning out and I think the end result is really cute so I'm nearly finished now I hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah I hope you'll give me a thumb, thumbs up and possibly subscribe please let me know what you thought of this little fox and I hope to see you again very soon in one of my next videos so take care and until next time, bye bye!